everybody, it's Anna. Time for a new tarot story this week. We start with the Wednesday card, and for that we have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen is the expansive property of the court card. She's the energy that makes things bigger, includes more, more people, kind of spreads her wings, right? So her suit, whatever energy her suit has, she's making it bigger. Pentacles are connected to the physical realms. They're about things you can see and taste and touch, as well as money and jobs and physical vitality. So the call of the Queen of Pentacles is to increase the experience of physical comfort and abundance and expansion. And so when she shows up, it means, you know, you you have good food and you 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 sleep in fluffy blankets. You go get a massage and you you garden, you go for long, luxurious walks. There's this idea of, of Mother Earth energy. We want to be have our you know our toes in the dirt of the earth. And this is really important to remember because we do, as I say so many times, we do have dual um, citizenship as humans. We have citizenship in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. And, and the challenge is learning how to keep the balance. So very often, I think, our minds will, some, will try to escape challenges of the physical world um, by chasing their own rabbits, right? So the, the mind is, is wondering about the future, what's going to happen next, what might happen, what happened before, like telling stories, which are largely not connected to the physical realm. They're mostly in the realm of the mind, which is why the mind can get very lost in kind of um, just chasing its own tail because there's nothing outside of itself to sort of challenge it, right? But the physical realm is outside of ourselves. So we are actually engaging other like we're not just engaging ourselves, our own, our own like spinning energies. We're actually engaging other people. We're engaging um, nature. We're engaging circumstances that sort of bring new life into our life, into ourselves, and that can be scary, particularly for the mind, because the mind's afraid of the unknown. But when we engage the other, we are challenging the mind to step outside of itself, right? And also showing the mind there's a lot of, especially with the Queen of Pentacles, there's a lot of beauty, there's a lot of joy, there's a lot of comfort to be had in the world. So we don't want to disparage comfort. It's funny how lately so many people I've talked to have been like saying, oh, I'm doing this just to comfort myself. Like, like comforting yourself is a bad thing. Like, of course, comforting yourself is a good thing. Like, like comfort is, is, a, is a form of love. When someone is, is fearful or painful and we snuggle them, that's comfort. That's love, right? So s comforting is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of belovedness and letting yourself be loved. And I think the mind, again, the mind can get locked into what does it mean to be tough? What does it mean to be realistic? What does it mean to, um, I don't know, be effective? Whatever the mind's trying to accomplish, it thinks that comforting is sort of softening us up or making us less effective when really it's allowing love to flow in. I think of the Queen of Pentacles as a deeply loving energy, loving the body, loving the physical human that that needs good food, that needs to be snuggled, that needs to have warm baths and and um and feel celebrated as a physical being. So consider how you can do that for yourself um, this week. Where where can your body relax? Where can you give the body what it wants to be comforted, to be soothed? Not seeing that as, as evidence of weakness or a lack of toughness, but, but as evidence of being loving. Because that's what the Queen of Pentacles is about. Loving the creature that is our bodies. That's today's card. See you tomorrow for our next one. Bye.